What's going on, guys? All right, so I'm here with just a uh, you know a few of the World of Nintendo items that have been released. I picked up what I was able to find at my Toys R Us um, with the time I had to stop by there, um, and this is what they had. They actually had uh, they had two of the Donkey Kongs left, so I picked both of those up. Um, I figured somebody in my trade group or down the line is going to need one, and those were about 15 bucks each. Um, the reason why I bought all these was because there's so much hype and commotion on uh, Facebook groups and on eBay right now. Not necessarily eBay, but mostly the Facebook groups uh, with these World of Nintendo items. Primarily the Link, um, the Link action figure. The Mario, the Yoshi are also rare, but the Link, uh, let's see if we got a picture here. So this Link right here, this is the one everyone's after. <laughs> And then um, there's a Wario, there's a Bowser. The Bowser is um, a six inch statue like this one. And then Mario, Yoshi, and Link are all smaller. And I believe Wario is smaller also. Though I haven't seen much of the Wario one. But apparently uh, the Link, there was just a lot smaller quantities of Link. I heard that like there was like one per box or something like that when the people got them in. Um, so yeah, this is the uh, Donkey Kong World of Nintendo uh, six-inch deluxe figure. Now I believe. Now don't quote me, but I believe most of these toys came out last week sometime, and within quite a few days, the Link apparently obviously sold out. I mean, I'm sure there's still some out there, but as far as most people know, you know. Mo they're have, everyone's having a really hard time finding these things. So uh, this is made by Jack Spe Jack Pacific. You know, it's a really nice, uh, it's a nice looking piece. I like how they uh, made it very displayable in the box, because obviously a lot, not a lot of people are going to want to take these out of their boxes. I know I'm not going to. So it does look great, just like that in their box. Uh, one thing that, though, that d does come with the Mario, Yoshi, and Link, there's like a mystery thing in there. So there is something in there that might want to make you open it. So it's almost as if they made very limited amounts of Link and gave people a reason to want to open the package to see what little mystery item came with it. Uh, so I think Nintendo's whole idea is, you know, they, they know people want things that are rare, that are limited, and, you know, if they're suffering, if they're struggling with video games, they know people will buy merchandise. So they might as well, you know, and like, they are, and like we've already been told, they are gonna start licensing out there Nintendo IPs for people to use so uh, maybe this is some of the start of that but um, I always uh, thought World of Nintendo was the actual store in Manhattan so it may be may not be I don't know maybe one of you guys know so yeah uh, if your Target or Toys R Us or maybe Walmart have these go check and pick them up um, it may be too late it may not be too late I'm gonna check my Target today actually while I'm over there but like I said, I'm not spending too much time going around looking for these. I stopped one place and I got what I could. So, so yeah, that was as far as the figures I got. So let's look at the uh, now the World of Nintendo Microland. So these are actually while I'm interested in the figures from a collecting aspect, these Microlands are just really fun to play with. So let's start off with the figures. There's actually five different packs of these. They're $8.99 each and they each contain three different figures. So the ones I picked up were the Mario, Luigi, and Goomba, and then Yoshi, Princess, and Bomb'em. The Bowser one seems to be the rarest one, and it's, I've, it's all, it's sold, the Bowser one sold out online first, and I haven't seen the Bowser one anywhere, but there is a Fire Mario one, and then the Raccoon Mario, or whatever, the Cape Mario. So these are the little figures that go with the world. Now the premise of um, Microland is that all the, let's see if we can see it here, they're all on checkerboards, so they all link together. So you can make the 3D world basically of uh, Super Mario. This is the deluxe version. There's two, this is series 1-1, one, one. doesn't say on there, but uh, series 1-1, one, one, all this stuff, and then the next wave's gonna come out soon, which is making people people speculate if the next wave the next wave of one two is already done, 
And I don't think they're going to release another wave of this stuff. I think they're going to go straight to 1-2 next. Uh, but we'll see. So, Layer Cake Desert is one of the uh, lands that they have out right now. And Acorn Plains is the other. Uh, each Layer Cake and um, Acorn Plains have one deluxe variant, which you see here. This is the deluxe version of layer cake that I got, and this was the only one they had. I would have liked to have gotten the deluxe version of um, the Acorn Plains also, and if they have that, I'll pick it up at Target. And the deluxe version contains five squares as opposed to the regular one containing three. The deluxe version is $19.99, and the regular ones, I believe, are $12.99 or $13.99, one or the other. So they come with uh, four plaque cards, so you can actually put the cards in the squares and, you know, use your figure to, you know, simulate. You can pretend that they're going to hit it, and then you pull out the item or whatever, and then you can swap your Mario for the Fire Mario or, or whatever you <laughs> wish. So you can have them set up really nicely. And one thing I really like about this set here is one of the pieces, the flag there, you could, um, it's kind of hard to see, but on the flag there's a clear disc below it and you can slide the disc up and down and you can actually set the characters on there as if they were you know finishing the level so that is the deluxe layer cake I showed you these guys here so let's take a look at the uh, the regular layer cake there so the deluxe layer cake comes with uh, Mario and it comes with actually a blue hat Mario it's kind of hard to tell there but this layer cake deluxe is a blue hat Mario and then the original layer cake has um, Luigi. And it comes with a piranha plant there. So there's kind of the back, kind of the gist of it there. Okay, acorn plants layer cake. And each of these have two variants. So the original um, layer cake deserts has one variant here, and then it'll have another variant, I think, with like Yoshi or somebody in it. So I do, I would like to find the alternate variants for these. There's like, you know, an A and a B or whatever. Uh, but there's only one deluxe. So each, you know, each of them have three different sets, basically. So three, six, nine, ten. So you could have like 11 different squares for each of them and then put them together. So here's Acorn Plains. And this one comes with uh, Mario also. But this has the red hat Mario. Uh, much like in uh, the figure you might buy there. I like that because it signifies that if you do have the blue hat Mario and if you were to take it out of the box you would know that that came from the deluxe set um, rather than this one. And of course this comes with uh, Monty the Mole and the acorn planes there and it comes with uh, one pipe. So I don't know if the pipe moves up and down or not. So that looks pretty interesting. And like I said uh, this one has you know it's alternate variant also and um, I'm not sure if that one was Fire Mario or what or what but yeah, go ahead. These are, from what I know, they're pretty much everything sold out online. Um, some of the micro lands are not yet sold out, but expect them to be higher than their normal $12.99, $19.99, or $14.99 prices. These are, like I said, these are $8.99 at the store, and I know they're going for, um, you know, I've seen these for $12.99 or so already, or more on <laughs> online, so or, or in trades. But yeah, the like I said, the Bowser one's a little more rare. But if you guys see these out there, definitely pick them up. Go for the figures first if you're just going to collect them. But if you want to have some fun with these, um, like I said, the micro lens look great. Great for a gift. Um, you know, get these for your kids or whatever, and they can put them together. And you can have a lot of fun with them too. But I will be keeping mine closed just for collectible aspects. As, you know, I enjoy them just like this, uh, looking at them. So... Alright guys, well uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Peace.